hello guys uh, welcome to go academy and guys in this video we'll be talking about a very very important concept in finance and insurance and actuarial sciences and that is the difference between moral hazard and ad adverse selection people often confuse these two terminologies uh, but they are quite different and we'll see uh, the definition of each and then how they are different and how they are interrelated to each other uh, uh, first of all talking about adverse selection because uh, generally this this comes first and then the problem of moral hazard so uh, let's suppose uh, let's read out the text uh, the text says that more adverse selection about uh, buyer or seller has more information on the product than the other okay now let's suppose that you are buying a health insurance and uh, and you you are suffering from cancer uh, but you 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 try to join an in health insurance plan that is relatively for healthier people okay now of course the insurance plan for healthier people you know life insurance plan for healthier people that will be uh, cheaper okay uh, but your plan well you you have more risk of you know dying and all that thing so you you, you should be ideally you should be joining a plan that is for uh, not so healthier people okay that that should that and that plan should cost you more okay those sort of plans cost more but since you know about your illness and the insure insurance provider does not know about your your condition your medical condition then it means that you have more information as compared to the other party and the other party is insurance provider so you you get you tend to get an advantage out of this situation because uh, you you are free riding free riding on the uh, money of those who have who are actually healthier people and they have paid less now when more and more people more and more sick people will join the insurance plan of healthy people then the uh, you know the the claims of insurance will increase in that in that group which which constitutes for healthier people and the cost of the uh, cost of you know uh, managing that group will increase and eventually that group uh, that insurance pool it might fail so yes this is adverse selection because the uh, you know seller of insurance insurance policy he, he does not know uh, which people to select for the plan because he has limited information now let's suppose that uh, now talk about moral hazard now let's suppose that you have uh, bought insurance for a car okay now you know that once you have paid the pay, pay, covered the car okay you have covered the, your car under insurance you and you are paying premium you know that uh, in, in case the the car hits something you know you get into an accident uh, you you won't have to uh, pay it from your own pocket rather insurance company will pay it so now uh, you you know that the risk will be borne by the third party that is the insurance company so you get, become more careless in your driving okay uh, you don't care whether the car gets hit somebody or it has a scratches on it because you know that you won't be bearing the cost so once again the ultimate result is that the seller of the insurance policy will will have to bear more costs then uh, then what he had to bear uh, had there not been any insurance cover for the car so in both moral hazard and adverse selection the cost for the seller of the insurance increases because uh, because either he does not have sufficient information in case of adverse selection or either he does not he cannot control the outcome once he had provided the insurance cover so both are related to insurance and actuarial business but both both are actually um, they are there are disadvantage for those who sell insurance and uh, the the uh, the main reason is information asymmetry that is one one person knows more than the other person uh, i hope this clarified your concept about moral hazard and adverse selection in case of any confusion uh, do ask me in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you